Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this tutorial I will show you how to program PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And click on the bell icon. What is microcontroller? A microcontroller is a single chip computer. Micro suggests that the device is small, and controller suggests that it is used in control applications. A microprocessor differs from a microcontroller in a number of ways. The main distinction is that a microprocessor requires several other components for its operation, such as program memory and data memory, input-output devices, and an external clock circuit. A microcontroller, on the other hand, has all the support chips incorporated inside its single chip. All microcontrollers operate on a set of instructions, or the user program, stored in their memory. A microcontroller is available in different word lengths like microprocessors, 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, 64-bit, and 128-bit microcontrollers are available today. You can see in this picture. Microcontroller has built-in RAM, ROM, EPROM, clock oscillator, timer, input, output, and microprocessor on single chip. Microcontroller features Microcontrollers from different manufacturers have different architectures and different capabilities. Some may suit a particular application while others may be totally unsuitable for the same application. The hardware features common to most microcontrollers are described in this section. Supply voltage Most microcontrollers operate with the standard logic voltage of plus 5 volt. Some microcontrollers can operate at as low as plus 2.7 volt, and some will tolerate plus 6 volt without any problem. The manufacturer's data sheet will have information about the allowed limits of the power supply voltage. Clock all microcontrollers require a clock, or an oscillator, to operate, usually provided by external timing devices connected to the microcontroller. In most cases, these external timing devices are a crystal plus with two small capacitors. In some cases they are resonators or an external resistor capacitor pair. Some microcontrollers have built-in timing circuits and do not require external timing components. Timers Timers are important parts of any microcontroller. A timer is basically a counter which is driven from either an external clock pulse or the microcontroller's internal oscillator. A timer can be 8 bits or 16 bits wide. Data can be loaded into a timer under program control, and the timer can be stopped or started by program control. Most timers can be configured to generate an interrupt when they reach a certain count. Watchdog most microcontrollers have at least one watchdog facility. The watchdog is basically a timer that is refreshed by the user program. Whenever the program fails to refresh the watchdog, a reset occurs. The watchdog timer is used to detect a system problem, such as the program being in an endless loop. This safety feature prevents runaway software and stops the microcontroller from executing meaningless and unwanted code. Reset Input a reset input is used to reset a microcontroller externally. Resetting puts the microcontroller into a known state such that the program execution starts from address 0 of the program memory. An external reset action is usually achieved by connecting a push button to the reset input. When the switch is pressed, the microcontroller is reset. Interrupts Interrupts are an important concept in microcontrollers. An interrupt causes the microcontroller to respond to external and internal events very quickly. When an interrupt occurs, the microcontroller leaves its normal flow of program execution and jumps to a special part of the program known as the interrupt service routine ISR. The program code inside the ISR is executed, and upon return from the ISR the program resumes its normal flow of execution. Brownout Detector Brownout detectors which are common in many microcontrollers, reset the microcontroller if the supply voltage falls below a nominal value. These safety features can be employed to prevent unpredictable operation at low voltages, especially to protect the contents of EEPROM type memories. Serial Communication 
Serial communication enables a microcontroller to be connected to another microcontroller or to a PC using a serial cable. Some microcontrollers have built-in hardware called USART, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, to implement a serial communication interface. The user program can usually select the baud rate and data format. If no serial input-output hardware is provided, it is easy to develop software to implement serial data communication using any I.O. pin of a microcontroller. Sleep Mode Some microcontrollers offer built-in sleep modes, where executing this instruction stops the internal oscillator and reduces power consumption to an extremely low level. The sleep mode's main purpose is to conserve battery power when the microcontroller is not doing anything useful. Power on reset Some microcontrollers, example PIX, have built-in power on reset circuits which keep the microcontroller in the reset state until all the internal circuitry has been initialized. This feature is very useful, as it starts the microcontroller from a known state on power up. An external reset can also be provided, where the microcontroller is reset when an external button is pressed. USB Interface USB is currently a very popular computer interface specification used to connect various peripheral devices to computers and microcontrollers. Some PIC microcontrollers provide built-in USB modules. Choosing a microcontroller There are five major 8-bit microcontrollers. They are Motorola, Atmel, AVR, Zilix, and PIC from Microchip Technology. Each of the microcontroller has a unique instruction set and register set, they are not compatible with each other. Programs written for one will not run on the others. Three criteria in choosing microcontrollers are as follows. 1. Meeting the computing need of the task at hand efficiently and cost. 2. Availability of software and hardware development tools such as compilers, assemblers, and emulators. 3. Wide availability and reliable source of the microcontroller. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.